Hello again, it's Brian from Excel Dashboard Widgets. Um, we've got a post here on the forum from Coopers. Welcome to the forum. Um, and he has a couple of questions in his post. And sometimes it's easy just to make a, a video um, than to try and respond with um, text. Um, but actually, we, we'll do both. Um, so he's asking, I have this first linear dial widget. When I set it to my calculations, it works. But the dial becomes a blue wired version and not the black dial that's in the original widget. I'm using the following Excel code. And he seems to have pasted the code that is basically an XY graph for the needle when it's moving. Um, I know it's an error, but I can't see where. So let's see if we can get that part of your forum post working. Um, and then on your second post, another point, I'm trying to build a dashboard on two levels, one for a committee with a number of widgets. So we'll we'll come back to that second. And then you're saying, do you have examples or a tutorial? Well, if you go to, um, if you look either, um, we have a YouTube channel here, Coopers, but we also have, um, if I open up Excel, and then we open up the um, the spreadsheet. There's also a, a link in the unlocked dashboard widget spreadsheet at the top to our YouTube videos there. Um, and probably the most important um, video is this very, very first um, tutorial video that we made um, seven years ago believe it or not, <laughs> um, that's going to take you through exactly the steps that I'm going to take you through now, um, which is copying, pasting, and, and setting up um, a dashboard from scratch. So let's, um, okay, let's get back to your uh, back to your question. So this is the unlocked version of the Excel dashboard widgets spreadsheet, but let's start a new blank workbook. Um, I'm using Excel 365 here, which I believe is the most recent version of Excel. I think I go here, Excel and about. So it's, um, yeah, Excel 365. Um, okay, let's go back here. Did I create? Okay, here we are. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste um, this first widget across to start building um, my dashboard and how I want to, how I want it to look. Um, it might have been your problem. It might not have been your problem that when you when you pasted it across, you didn't paste the whole grouping of the widget. You might have clicked it twice um, and just pasted that blue background across like that. That might have been your problem. Um, okay, so let's go back and we'll just. We'll copy across the whole widget like that. Now these widgets, um, just so we understand what they are, because believe it or not, they're nothing special. Um, it's they're basically just a collection of objects. Um, so if I go, for example, on the home ribbon, so there's lots of ribbons across the top. If we go home, go across to find and select, and then the selection pane here you'll notice um, within this linear dial widget, there are a number of items um, and I can even ungroup them. One second, let's ungroup, just so you get an idea of what we've got. So you have this, this main title, you have a main value, which is this thing over here. You have a dial, um, sorry, this circle thing in the middle, Oh, if it's going to let me take it, that circle thing. Um, then you have a needle, um, which is over here. And then you've got all these other bits and pieces. You've got a, this, this scale group here. Um, and, and when you put all this stuff together, and you've got this grouping of these different colored panels. Um, when you put all these things together, basically it makes up a widget. So even, you know, if I make a a little bit more space. Even this beautiful needle um, is basically a graph, so I can come to it and I go to chart format. I think it's format over here. Um, let me try again. Okay, chart design, and I can add the axis. Is uh, okay. That's the title. I can add the primary axis here and the primary vertical. 
And this is basically, it's an XY chart that when you change the values, um, let me see if it'll let me, if I, okay. If I update the values over here, um, I put 40. Okay, I've changed it over here, then it should change it over here as well. So this basically moves based on the values that are um, that are being added. And all of the widgets that you see here, coming down here, um, are exactly the same thing. They're all built up of multiple different components and grouped together um, to create the appearance of, of a widget. And even the principle is even when you get a little bit more um, professional with your with your dashboard design, you don't actually even have to stick with the widgets that we've um, we've, we've suggested. Um, this principle can be actually be used to make um, to make any widgets and to make any design that you want. Um, I can show you an example that I did a few years ago, actually. For if I come across over here, that's not the one that I wanted to show you. Um, ding -a -ding -a -ding. Maybe it was that one. I think I'm just opening exactly the same thing I just opened. Um, yeah, this one. Just so you can get an idea of, of what can be done. Um, here with this dashboard that fits onto, if I go file print, you'll see that when you print it, it goes beautifully onto one side of A4. And this um, gives you an example of, of what can be done um, with uh, with um, with these widgets. Um, so, for example, even if I come back to the configuration page for their social media account, um, that's the up and down widget. So I can even change this. This is linked to the configuration page C119. I've got the configuration page C119. Da, 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 C119. And for example, if they're social media fans um, or for their Facebook fans was um, 10,001. I could put the value in here and it would automatically update the the, the different fields on the um, on the final dashboard page and that's a little bit the the, the, the principle of how this all works. Um, so um, okay, when you're setting up these these dashboards, you always have three tabs. You have the dashboard, which is the, the the graphical representation of the information that you want to portray. There is a configuration page, which is basically exactly the same information, but in a in a rough format um, that's not in a graphical format. If that makes sense. And then you have a calculations page, which is the underlying calculations which are used to calculate the X and Y positions of needles and calculate the different scale intervals and to do all the calculations that are needed to make these sort of beautiful um, representations. So um, I'm, jump, I'm jumping around way too much. So Let's just go ahead and we'll just set up this widget and um, hopefully solve the, the initial problems that you have um, with it. So I'm going to stop all this. Um, I'm going to start a new blank sheet. So I'm going to file, new, new blank workbook. And I'm going to just rattle through very, very quickly just setting up this first widget. So I'm going to copy this. Um, okay, the first the first thing is to have three tabs. So this is your dashboard, which is going to be your graphical um, representation. This is your configuration data, my configuration page, which are just your numbers, and then this is your calculations tab. My calculations. Calculations. I can't spell today. Uh, over there. So, on the dashboard, we can start to arrange the different widgets that we want or the different layout that we want. Um, on the configuration page, we need the data 
the numbers for this page. So I'm going to copy that from here. This is the configuration data that's used to set up this graph. That the, the scale goes from 0 to 100, the value is 40, and then these are the field names that go into the title and the, the, the unit scale at the bottom. So I'm going to copy that over to here on my configuration page. Um, and then on the calculations page, we have this calculation block, which is used to set up the widgets. And it's basically, there's the calculations here in blue, which are setting up the scale units based on the range that you provide. Um, and this pink thing at the bottom is setting up the X and Y coordinates for the needle, um, calculating them based on the value that you, you put in. So let's paste that across into the calculations page over here. Um, I'm a strange and neat freak for some reason, so I'm going to just make this look a little bit more ordered. Okay, so now we, um, we have a okay. Now we have a problem because this widget that we've pasted over here um, is currently linked. If I click any of these values, they're currently linked to the values um, of the original unlocked extra testable widgets um, spreadsheet. So they're linked to this. If you look here, um, they're linked to a tab called Widget Showcase Calcs on Accessible Widget Spreadsheet Revision 10C or XLSX, um, and we don't want that because if we update the values now over here in this other spreadsheet, um, they will update the values here, and that's not what we want. We want them now to link them to the values that we have on this page. So the easiest way to do this is to go through the steps um, in the box that we pasted into the into the calculations page. So step one, link the yellow cells to your widget configuration data following this example. So and following this example is following the example that we've given over here. So you can see, for example, the minimum is linked to widget showcase F15, the maximum is we just showcase F17. Um, so it gives you an idea how these how these things are linked up. Okay. So let's go to our dashboard that we're trying to organize here. So we're going to call this um, daily pie. Are we going to call it pie demand? Pie demand or pie sales? That's a better one. How many, how many pies did we sell today? And the units will be thousands of pies per day maybe thousands is a lot hundreds of pies we sold today and our scale um, we sold 4,000 or 400 pies today and our scale we're going to do a scale between 0 and 10 okay so you'll notice over here nothing has changed because all these values are still linked to our old spreadsheet. Okay, and over here, just so we can get all the calculations working, we're going to link these yellow cells up to the configuration values we've just put in. So the minimum value we type equals, go to configuration page, the minimum value is zero, the max value is 10. And you'll see already that our scale values have set themselves up beautifully. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Um, and later on, we'll be linking these over to our dashboard values. Um, OK, I'll just keep going. I'm going to put the main title is Pi Sales. The units are configuration number of hundreds of pies a day. OK. The actual value, okay, we didn't put the actual value over here. The actual value is configuration page 400 pies. Okay, we could have actually done this scale from 0 to 
a thousand, I guess, and had 400 as a value. Anyway, we won't worry about that. Okay, so this all works beautifully now. We have the x and y coordinates for a needle that's pointing, currently pointing at four, but we still have nothing over here. So what does it say on step two? Step two, on the dashboard page, go to home, find a select selection plane, and link each of these items to the blue cells. Okay. So let's do it that way. I'm going to go find and select the selection pane. Right. So the first one is the actual value. Da, 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 the actual value, which is the this main value thing. I'm going to go that equals four. Okay. It's a good start. Four. But the needle currently says 40. So we need to go through each one of these. Then there's the scale 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So I'm going to go through the scale values. This is the first one over here. Okay, 0, 0. So I'm going to go equals, equals 0. The next value, equals. Calculations of 2. The next value, equals. Calculations page 4. The next value, equals. Calculations page six. The next value equals. Calculations page eight. The next value equals. Calculations page that one. Okay. So now we have a scale that goes from zero to ten, and we're currently pointing at four, which is good. Um, okay. Down, down, down. So. Okay, we'll do pie sales and we'll do these two over here. We'll keep working our way through the blue. So instead of daily widget demand, okay, equals. I should have selected it over here on the right hand side of the selection pane, but it's you can you can select the actual box as well. It doesn't make a big difference. The pie sales and then the the dial units. This text box down here equals and times 100 pi cells. So now, if we change on our configuration, we, instead of pi sales, we change this to cake sales. Um, if you go back to the dashboard, it's updated the title for us. And even if you go here that we've sold 800 cakes, Today, I go back over here, and this is updated to eight, but the needle hasn't changed, and that's because if we click the needle, linear down needle, best to select it on the selection pane. Um, okay, on the needle, this is still linked. Um, actually, I'm telling you, best select it on the selection pane. We actually need to bring up the formula which you need to click on the needle itself um, there we go this is still connected to an external um, dashboard so we need to change that um, and the way excel does that if you want to link to values in in other workbooks in other worksheets is the format is there's a hyphen Open square bracket, close square bracket is that, and that's the reference to the um, the file. And then there's the tab, um, and then there's the another hyphen, and then there's the exclamation mark, and then there's the cell address. So this is currently linked. So what we need to do is, if you look at the values, you've got values C50 to C54 and D50 to D54. Um, we want to change those values so they're the same, so it's linking to this set down here. So it needs to link to C27 to C31 and D27 to D31 um, on the My Calculations page tab. So I'm going to do that right now. So first of all, we don't want to link taking out both square brackets to that um, file and we don't want to link I can't remember if I need the hyphens in or not 
um, but we'll try it with and we'll try it without. We want to link it to the my calculations, which is better, right? Calculations page. Um, and I'm just going to copy that everywhere just to start my calculations page. Okay, I'm going to take out the hyphens on both sides, my calculations page. And to take out the hyphens on both sides, my calculations page. I'm going to enter that for the moment. We found a typo. I think I needed those hyphens back in. No, 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 no. Okay. My calculations page not referenced. Perhaps I needed those in after all. Let's put those tabs back in. Okay. No, 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 no. Calculations page. Must be an open worksheet. Okay, there's no space. Okay, <laughs> my calculations needs a couple of spaces in it. Okay, now those values are still wrong, which is why everything is pointing to zero. Because instead of C fifty to C fifty four. It should be um, C27 to C31. C27 to C31, D27 to D31, D27 to D31. And this value over here was actually gives the title value. Um, so it was one above. So that was actually C that was 27. That was 26. One value ahead. Um, and there we go. And you're absolutely right. Yours turns um, to this skinny needle. Now, the reason for that is formatting. So if you look at this needle over here, You'll see that if I go over here, if I go format data series, you will see that the line is a solid line and it's seven points thick and it's black. Um, if I look at this needle over here and I go chart design, format, um, change colors, um, okay, I should be able to right click. And then go format data series. You will see that it is automatic and it's one and a half points thick. So I'm going to change this to black. I'm going to change this to seven seven points thick. Um, and you can actually change this to any color you want. This could be green, for example, or it could be a gray, or it could have a a border on it, or you could do anything you wanted with it. Um, and I think that is the problem that, that you've been having here. Um, so there you go. Um, if I go to the configuration page, if this goes down to one, my dash, my needle and my values um, update to one. If I change my range here to 100 and I put this as 70 and this is 70,000 cakes, All of my values update here. Cake sales, 70,000 cakes, and this is on the 70 value. Um, I hope that helps, and feel free to um, reply to the um, to the comments on the forum. You have got to be... Okay, now that is still recording. <laughs> okay. Um, I will put this video into the into the forum, and if you have any more questions, um, we're here to support you. So uh, thank you, and um, good luck with your dashboard projects. Um, this is Brian from Exadashable Widgets. Until next time.